Joining us now to get more details on the enormous logistics challenge of delivering the vaccine is Richard Smith, the regional president of FedEx Express. Richard, good morning to you. I want to jump right to it because we've just been getting word and video showing those first shipments being loaded up. When do we expect those first vaccines to go out and when will they arrive at their destinations? Those first vaccines will go out tonight and they'll arrive at their destination tomorrow morning. And I do understand there were some delays here. We were told repeatedly that uh, by officials at Warp Speed that the vaccine will be shipped out within 24 hours of that emergency use authorization. That came Friday evening. Some places aren't accepting shipments until Monday. Why the delay? Well, the decision was made by the planning team, Operation Warp Speed, Pfizer, uh, McKesson, uh, the logistics uh, companies involved, that Monday would be a better first day for the launch uh, because it's a regular business day, so you could ensure that all the administration sites were fully staffed and all of them were open. Uh, there, was, there was some fear you might uh, try to attempt deliveries on a Sunday, and some of these administration sites may not be open or, or fully staffed to receive. Uh, for, forgive me for following up on that, but, I mean, we've been waiting for this vaccine for nine months were there really facilities that weren't going to be fully staffed on a Sunday? Well, we just didn't want to take any chances. Uh, we felt that Monday was a better day. Uh, again, it's a normal uh, business day, weekday. Uh, so the planning team uh, opted to to pack out Sunday and deliver on Monday. Well, everybody is standing by here, and we know this Pfizer vaccine needs to be stored at minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit. There will be tracking devices used to follow every shipment. Walk us through some of the major logistical challenges here, and how confident are you that you can pull this off without error or delay? Well, I'm incredibly confident in our, our planning. I'm incredibly confident in our capabilities, the cold chain capabilities, but also the advanced uh, monitoring and tracking technologies that you mentioned. And of course, in our expertise and know-how in this area, we handle millions of vaccines every year. Uh, we handle temperature controlled shipments every day, including things that have to be kept at, at deep frozen temperatures. Now remember that most of the, uh, are, are in transit, all of the protection of the product is really on the packaging. Uh, so Pfizer shipping it out in a, in a specialized validated box that will keep it at that temperature for many days. So our job is to transport it rapidly and reliably. This is where the monitoring technology comes in because it's really critical that these shipments get there uh, and arrive when they're, when they're expected on an overnight basis. So we're using a patented solution that we call Sensorware ID. We rolled it out earlier this year. It's the latest and greatest in positive control. Our couriers will affix this to every box, this tag, and our entire network is lit up to monitor these shipments as they move through the system with our priority alert agents in a 24 by 7, 365 command center uh, watching the packages so they can jump in in the event of any sort of unforeseen delay, weather related, on-road traffic delays, you name it, intercede on that shipment, get it expedited, and ensure that it still gets delivered. A crucial and important technology. Thank you so much again for your time. Richard Smith of FedEx Express. We appreciate it, and good luck as these shipments go out. Thank you. Appreciate you having me on. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.